Hey guys, it's 9-0. So today I am going to be talking about my PS4 collection for 2020. So you have to excuse me if I sound a little frustrated because I've actually recorded this entire video already and then I realized that it didn't have audio. I guess it thought my Bluetooth speaker was a microphone and there was no audio recorded. So we're gonna go over this is my single player physical collection and then I have my multiplayer physical collection okay I also have games digitally on my PS4 but I'm not going to discuss those too much we will focus on the physical collection okay so I'm going to start with the single player side first and then I'll go over to multiplayer. So, first up is going to be Until Dawn. So Until Dawn is a great interactive story game and this was my favorite interactive story game. That was until Detroit Became Human. Now this is one of the best interactive story games I've ever played and I think that this is the pinnacle of interactive stories right now. Excellent game. Shadow of the Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. You know I gotta get the Definitive Edition. So this game is the best of the trilogy. Okay, the best of the trilogy. Got the best graphics. The gameplay is tightened up. This is the best in the trilogy. So Star Wars Fallen Order. So I enjoyed the prologue level because it was like very linear and it was like more story based and then once the game opened up into like this kind of open world kind of dungeon kind of dark soulsy thing then I lost interest and I didn't play it after the second map okay too many definitive of course the first one in the collection gotta start somewhere Sonic Forces um I didn't finish this game and I also didn't care for the custom character at all yeah my brother finished it though let's move on to the next one South Park the Fractured Butthole so I didn't like the ending to this game but I did enjoy the comedy and I did enjoy most of the gameplay but then it was a little bit of a letdown I expected something more climatic um, kind of like the stick of truth but this also does include a digital version of the Stick and Truth, which is really nice to have. So, The Evil Within. So, story-wise, I love the story. I love the fact that you didn't know what was going on. I love the fact this is like this horror matrix. Really cool. Um, but the problem is, it's a... Uh, you know it's uh, published by Bethesda so it, you know it's like the game is super buggy um, you know like the technical sides are really bad and it's really bad in the technical department this is really like a PS3 game they just toss on the PS4 anyways but um but I do love the story and I love the sense of dread the game gave me so I will always cherish it for that now Horizon Zero Dawn fantastic game this is my favorite open world game of this console generation and I mean the only thing they do is make open world games now so I, which I'm I'm sick of them I I want linear games to come back but I'll I'll make that into a separate video excuse me my uh, my throat I just finished eating not too long ago but yeah fantastic game near automata this is one of the best video game soundtracks I've ever heard. Gameplay's pretty fun too. Didn't really like the common enemy design, but uh, the lore behind it and story and stuff is interesting. Yeah, it's uh, pretty interesting and um, yeah, it has a very unique structure going on with it. Crash Insane tri Trilogy, if you know what Crash is, then you know. 
So, they have a Crash 4 coming out. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it yet. But, uh, this was fun. This is also frustrating. And, <laughs> like, what bothered me about the game is, is because it has, um, older game design, you will die, and it won't even be your fault. It will literally be the game's fault. And I don't blame video games for my death, but that game is <laughs> the game is the reason why I died Resident Evil 4 this is one of the best games ever made period Resident Evil 4 is not just a good survival horror game it's a good action game it's just a good game I had this in the plastic for the longest but eventually I had to bust it out the plastic excellent game if you haven't played it yet then maybe play it or play the remake it's rumored that there's going to be a remake coming, so that might be your chance there. Rise of the Tomb Raider. Of course, this is the second one in the trilogy. They got a special case for the PlayStation version. This is the definitive. This is basically the definitive edition. They, you know, they said a celebration, but it's, this is the definitive edition. It got all the DLC. The graphics are great, but not as good as the uh, third entry. So Bloodborne, this is the first Soulsborne game that I've ever played, and yeah, um, it was fun in the beginning, years ago. It's kind of dated now, but uh, kind of dated now. I love the creature designs. Um, I never finished it, though. I played, like, a lot of it, but I never finished it. Maybe one day. That'd be, like, bucket list gaming for me. So, Dreams. Now, this is a funny story how I got this game. I actually did not order this game at all. I didn't order this game. I didn't purchase this game. What happened is, Amazon accidentally sent me this game. I ordered Street Fighter V, and they sent the Dreams to my house. Um, and then, I was like, whatever, I'll keep it anyways. So, for this game, it's, um, you know, a game where people could kind of build their own little mini games but the problem is the games aren't good so it's like I like that people get to create their own games but after two minutes you're gonna want to turn everyone's game off either, they, either it's only like one room one stage maybe one little small map um yeah it's I don't know it's like it's full with games that I just don't want to play for longer than two minutes it really makes you appreciate AAA games a lot when you play that. So, now, okay, I'm going to do both of these at the same time. Dead or Alive Extreme Series, okay? If girls in bikinis bother you, then definitely don't look. So, for this series, so they got the Fortune version, and then they got the Scarlet version. The difference with, is with the Scarlet version has more... The Scarlet version has a couple more characters, and it's uh, less grindy. And it's, yeah, it's less grindy and stuff like that if you're trying to get the bathing suits. Which I say, don't waste your life getting the bathing suits. Just play the mini games for fun. Turn it off. Okay, now, next we have Resident Evil 2. You know I had to get, you know I had to get the deluxe, right? This is fantastic game. This game revitalized the survival horror genre on its own. Everyone and their mother was talking about this game when it came out, and I couldn't have been more proud to have been a Resident Evil fan since the PlayStation One days. Excellent game. I'm glad they made this. I am glad they made this. I only played it, I only played it twice, but I'm glad they made it. Odin Sphere Leaf Thracer, excellent action RPG. I finished three of the four campaigns, but uh, yeah, it's 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 fun. But after you do a few campaigns, you've kind of seen almost everything of the game. But it's still good. Res Resident Evil Seven Biohazard. So if they would have called this game something else. If they would have gave it a different title, I would have been okay with that. If they would have just said that this was a horror game made by Capcom, I would have been okay with that. I would have been like, oh, yeah, Capcom made a horror game. That's cool. I'll, you know, Makers of Resident Evil made a game. That's cool. But 
they wanted to slap the seven title on this game and i wish that they didn't but i do like this game for what it is i had fun playing it as a resident evil game that's debatable spider-man ps4 because guess what sony owns sony currently owns the license so that's why it's a ps4 exclusive title but the game is great it is great if you like spider-man play this game you're really gonna enjoy it the best web swinging on a spider-man game ever i brought this game just for the web swinging the action and story was extra loved it the evil within 2 so it's graphically superior to the last game the controls are superior one teeny teeny weeny problem it's an open world game so it loses them them constantly throwing these set pieces at you mixing it up it loses all of that for like just an open world game and i don't like that so if it had the randomness of the first game but the graphics and controls of this game that would be perfect for me remake the first game guys remake the first game give it the better graphics and controls and i will be all good to go all right now we got through the single player collection okay now we're gonna get through multiplayer because everyone likes multiplayer right that's what's hot these days you could sell cosmetic skins you could add microtransactions you know you could keep people playing right isn't that what multiplayer is about okay now let's start off with the best fighting game of this generation the best fighting game of this generation is mortal kombat 11 this game set the bar for fighting games this is my favorite fighting game of this generation amazing if you haven't played it yet why haven't you this game is amazing online will be frustrating but this game is amazing I'm supposed to have the Aftermath version, but because of the, uh, what's going on in 2020 with the disease and stuff like that, I, uh, had to cut back and there was about a dozen titles I didn't buy because of it, and I had to cut back and, uh, reserve my money a little bit more, but excellent game. Rayman Legends, I love this game, I always will love this game. Got it on PS3, got it on PS4. Brought it for a friend on the Nintendo Switch. Love this game. Excellent game. Dead or Alive 6. Eh. The graphics are better, but this game is bland in other ways. So I recommend you get DOA 5 last round. That's the superior package. Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. It was fun until they started adding microtransactions and then I started playing online. Didn't really have much fun playing online because other people could just skip over the entire map. And, excuse me, other people could just skip over the entire map. It's, map, it's not, it's kind of annoying. It's not very balanced. Yeah. And then they added microtransactions and, yeah, wish they didn't. Single player is very fun, so I recommend you play that story mode by yourself instead. Call of Duty Black Ops 3. The only reason why I actually own this game is because it came with the PS4. Um, I skipped like about five Call of Duty games and played this one, and it's like I was right back at home. So you don't... I mean, you played one Call of Duty, you, you played Call of Duty. Resident Evil Revelations 2. This game... What I like about this game is the raid mode. I don't really care for the story too much. Uh, I didn't like Moira as a character. but And I, I had purchased this game on PS3. And then eventually I went back and purchased the game on PS4. And yeah, I really love the raid mode. It's very fun. So it's very, very fun mode. So they did a good job with that raid mode. So that's why I had to get it again. Street Fighter V Champion Edition. So, like I mentioned, don't get this game used. Actually, don't buy this game at all because they are making Season 5 and they're probably going to re release another version of this game. So, unless you have the redeem code, this, this game is just going to be vanilla. And, yeah. So, I don't recommend you even purchase this game. 
Not with season five on the way. Overwatch Origins Edition. So I got this game when it first came out. That's why it's the Origins version. So this game was fun and I enjoyed it. And even though they had loot boxes and etc. But what had eventually happened is then I didn't have internet for a bit. And I realized that I can't play the game without internet. And after that I started losing my... I started losing my interest to continue to play more of it and then my interest died down afterwards. Mortal Kombat XL, you know, this is one of the stepping stones in the series, so I appreciate the game for that. Not too much else to say because MK11 is the superior title. Dead or Alive 5 last round. This is the version to get if you are interested in getting any of the Dead or Alive's. Get Dead or Alive 5 last round. Dead or Alive 6 probably don't even bother. Just watch out because they have a whole bunch of season passes which are going to cost you several hundred dollars to get them all. Crash. No, I said Crash. Excuse me. Sonic Team Racing. That's what happens when you think too fast or you think about multiple things at once. Sonic Team Racing, excellent. Well, I enjoyed the story, but I enjoyed the story and I do love the team aspects of this game, but um, after that, there's not much else to do. So if you're playing the game by yourself, you'll have a bunch of stuff to do. Maybe if you're playing online, you have a bunch of stuff to do. But the game is simple enough that if you're playing with somebody who's new to gaming or whatever, you could play with them and get into it. But it's alright because it's co-op and, you know, you could do team racing. Injustice 2. Without Injustice 2, there would be no Mortal Kombat 11. So I appreciate this game. Excellent game. Without Mortal Kombat X, we wouldn't have those interactive, interactive fight dialogues. So this is probably the best superhero game you're going to superhero fighting game specifically you're going to play Resident Evil 5 best co-op game not even even if we're not even thinking about survival horror if we're not thinking about Resident Evil this is one of the best co-op games you can play this game was excellent it did everything Resident Evil 4 did and like just multiplied it by five this game was the best thing when it first came out. Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. Excellent game. The only thing better than this is the Road to Boruto Expanded Version. Which we'll be getting to soon. Resident Evil 3. Now, First Form Nemesis. Excellent. If they would have got rid of the, the scripted the, the very scripted moments where you just hold forward and if they would have made this campaign two hours longer I would have been happy but the campaign is lackluster and then they added Resident Evil Resistance and to be honest I don't care for Resident Evil Resistance I don't play Resident Evil Resistance out of principle and the reason why they're focused on it so hard is because they have microtransactions and they're gonna keep adding these microtransactions to it so they're going to make people grind and they're going to make people want to buy these microtransactions and that's why they're supporting this version more than they're supporting the single player of the game and it's sad to see. It's very disappointing. So I would have to say that Resident Evil 2 is a better package but Resident Evil 3 I found myself replaying the campaign more because I could get through the campaign and the time it takes to watch a Marvel movie. Now Tekken 7. I love Tekken. I love doing the combos. I can sit in practice mode for hours doing these combos over and over and over. Love Tekken. But they added my girl Zafina too late. If they would have added her maybe during season 1, maybe during season 2, but they added her too late. They added her during season 3. And my mains are Ling Xiaoyu and Zafina and they added Zafina too late. R Road to Boruto. 
the best Naruto experience you can get. Don't even get the Shinobi Striker. Get this. You get this, or you get those remasters, but this is the best experience. I cannot recommend this game enough. If you like Naruto, you get this game. This game is excellent. Now, Battleborn, it's still in the plastic. Why is it still in the plastic? Because I heard that this game had a single player mode. They were like, oh, the game is single player. You could play this game by yourself. You don't have to play the multiplayer. I was like, oh, cool. So if it's like Overwatch, but I could play by myself, that's fine. You know, I heard that they were shutting down the service. I was like, let me try it out. And then I found out that this game is online only. You have to be connected to the internet to play this game. So when they shut down the service, it'll be as if, as if this game never existed. It'll be a distant memory. Like Lawbreakers and many more all over again. Street Fighter V. All Street Fighter Vs are this game if you don't have the redeem code. Um, it's sad. This game is sad. The way they released this game is sad. But that's a whole different video topic. Fighting EX Layer. So this basically plays like the Street Fighter EX series. Except it only has the EX roster. I got the Japanese import version because I only seen one last one on Amazon. I couldn't find an English version. So what sucks about this is they gave me a character pass code. And they they allowed it that the pass only lasted two years so the pass expired June of this year so I can't even use the, the unlock pass for it Dragon Ball Fighters one of the best anime fighters this game is great excellent game and if you purchase it well make sure you purchase all their character passes as well because there's a whole bunch of them and a lot of Goku's on this game anyways anyways the game is good but I didn't purchase the character passes out of principle I would rather have a bundle Wolfenstein Youngblood I didn't care for the open world of this game but I do like the six story maps that they have on there. Those maps were pretty fun. But story mode I really don't care for. What is game? Okay, King of Fighters. Now, King of Fighters. Um, this was their this was this uh, company's first time actually using those three models and etc. like that. So they were kind of struggling to really get the graphics going. And then Street Fighter V Arcade Edition, like I mentioned, all versions of Part Five are exactly the same, especially if you don't have the redeems. They're going to discontinue this version anyway, so it doesn't matter. So just wait until they release the next one. Okay. Samurai Warriors 4 Part 2. The sad thing is, when you play this, you're going to wish you had Samurai Warriors 4 Part 1. Because this version of it is very lackluster, and I would have rather them not have made it. So, yeah, it's not very good, especially because of the story mission structure. You're just better off playing the first one. And then, finally, we got Man of Medan. So, this is like Until Dawn, except a much more condensed version there are many 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 different endings but the story is a lot shorter and when you play with the AI the AI will purposely try to sabotage you so they'll purposely make choices that would result in a uh, poorer endings so it's recommended that you if you want to get a good ending then you play with people you know and then make sure that they make the right choices for you both to get a good ending but alright guys, um, that's um, so besides that of uh, digital collections, of course there's uh, RE1, RE0, RE6, etc. But I don't want to go too much into the uh, digital collection today. But alright guys, thank you for tuning in. So what I wanted to mention before I forget is that I'm going to be getting Cyberpunk, Doom, 
uh, Mega Man Anniversary, Grand Blue, Guilty Gear, Strive, and uh, Ghost of Tsushima as well. So thank you guys for tuning in, and I will see you on the next one.